Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Start of a new series of episodes. It's de- it's just me. So don't worry any Lady M fans out there, um, and I know there's plenty of them. Uh, she will still be doing the same amount of videos that we, we have been doing recently, a 50p and a £2 hunt every week, as well as live streaming on a on a Sunday morning, possibly a Saturday morning. We are taking a little bit of, br- bit, little bit of a break at the minute at the time of uh, filming this. But hopefully we'll be back on a weekend live streaming and we might even do it on a Saturday rather than a Sunday as well. But we'll, uh, we'll see. So um, this is something a little bit extra. Uh, I was pretty keen to start a new book. Lady M can't always commit to, to, commit to the time. So off we go with uh, Bungle Collects solo, I guess, for, for want of a better word. So this is this is the album. This is what we're wanting to, that I'm wanting to fill. We're going to go through 50 pences in this episode. We're doing two pounds in, a, in, a, in another episode and... Maybe alternate between the two, we'll see. But everything's going to go in this book. Big shout out to Coin Patrol who sent us these lovely stickers. Uh, so that's our, obviously our uh, Bungle logo, our channel logo. That's the plum finds because we're always looking for the the pick of the, the pick of the bunch, the the the, the plum. And uh, obviously we're in the we're in the UK, so off we go. What are we after? Well, we need to fill this album up. We've got. 50 pences, all the inserts there. Big thank you to Raftery, so raftery.co.uk, who can make these uh, these inserts and very kindly makes these uh, these for us with a channel logo on the back. So we've got all the circulating 50 pences and then all the circulating two pounds as well and plenty of space in and around for any plum finds or oddities that we might come across. So it's gonna be one album, two lots of coin hunts, and hopefully we'll fill this as soon as we can. So let let us let's get on with it. What do we have? We've got a lovely bag of fifty pences. Right, only picked this up today, but it is dated the twenty eighth of September, twenty twenty. So it's been in the in the bank uh, for for a little while in their in their safe. And uh, let's see what it's got. So this is a bit of a novelty novelty for me because Lady M normally opens up the bags. So I get to do that. And of course, I'm going to get to go through a full £250 bag on my own. So I've already messed it up. <laughs> there we go. There'll be 25 bags in here, I'm sure. All nicely sealed. Let's see what we can what we can find and we're almost certainly going to find something oh, there we go we're almost certainly going to find something for the book and we have already because we've got a brand new fresh book so we're looking for something to fill the book up and we're also looking for the the, the fines that are worth more than the 50 pence that is stamped on them so ones that might be worth uh, worth uh, a pound or two Anybody watching this who collects coins, you'll know that there's some rare and valuable ones that can be found. And even checking your own change is well worth it. Checking your pockets to see to see what's there. We're going to be looking at the um, shields, these shields here for any not intended for circulation years. So any years that should be in circulation that you can only find in the annual sets. As well as these ones with the pictures on. Okay, so I need to work out. First and foremost, I need to work out how on earth to work to get the the blum and thing to focus because it definitely definitely did work when I uh, when I practiced it. So hang on. Ah, there we go. Do we need it? Do we need a double tap? Let's uh, let's find out. So there's the the Battle of Britain. Got the JC ported on there for Jodie Clark, the initials underneath the Queen's neck. So this is the circulating coin. There is a version of this that has a different obverse, a different Queen's picture on. It's got IRB at the bottom instead of JC. And that's worth about uh, about £20 if you can find one of them. That one, maybe it's a, maybe it's a pound if it's in good condition. Uh, there's a, a Britannia. So don't look at the Britannias, but I will need a 2008 version for that there. A 2008 version for the book because this is the lowest mintage Britannia that was in circulation in 2008. So that's gonna go in the book, so I'm gonna keep uh, keep that one. And the shields I'm gonna check as we go along. Well, 
all, nothing at all in that bag. It's a complete bust. It's a, it's a little bit weird, I must admit, without Lady M. So used to having Lady M to talk to and bounce off. But I guess it's just us now. For a second there, I thought that was 2016, because that is a, a 2016 is a year that wasn't intended. This design of shield was not circulated. And worth a few quid, the 2016 shield. How much would it be worth? How much should I pay for mine? I think I got mine at a decent price. I think I got mine for, was it 40 pound? I think, I think I paid for mine. I got that on, on eBay, but they are, uh, Oof, you can pay way, way more than that. Certainly depending on what uh, what condition it's in. So well worth looking for for these shields designs with either the years 2009, 2010, 2011, 2016, 18, and probably 2020 and 2021 as well. There's a good chance that they won't be circulated, but we don't know the mintage figures. Well, I'm not doing very well. So far, what's that, four or five bags? And just two coins to show for it. But early days, early days. There's dictionaries, really common is dictionaries. You're almost certainly gonna find uh, find that in your, in your change if you find a commemorative coin. That one or, or Benjamin Bunny, and I'm sure we will find Benjamin later on. Dictionary's mintage is 17 million, or over 17 million, so that is only worth 50p, unfortunately. And I can't see that ever, ever being worth more than 50 pence. Well, I'll be uh, pushing up daisies, I think, by the time it, uh, by the time if it ever does get more than that. There's Tom Kitten, part of the 2017 set, the most common set that you can find in circulation. Again, just a 50p coin, that one. But it's nice to get the get a little bit of variety because we have a little bit of a dry spell there. And of course, Tom will go in the album because he's the first one. And there's another 2008 Britannia. I won't be keeping. I won't be keeping it. You might get a pound for it if you were lucky. If it was a really, really good condition one. Somebody needed it for the date run. But it's not something that's it's not a keeper for me. The Battle of Britain is. That one is. But that is the only one. The only one so far that I'll be keeping. Well, what am I talking about? Of course I won't. I'll be keeping I'll be keeping the uh, the others as well because it's the first of the album. But if I find any more, I'll be keeping them. I know, I know what I mean. I know what I mean. There we go, we've got one, Paddington at St. Paul's Cathedral. Nine million, one thousand of them were minted for circulation. And that one will go in the book, but I certainly won't be keeping any more than that one. And there's his counterpart, Paddington at the Tower of London. A little mini set there, the two 2019 Paddington coins. We'll go on the album, if I find any more, I will not be keeping them. There is Girl Guides. Nice coin, this one, 2010. You can get it from 2019. They were re reissued in 2019 to celebrate 50 years of the 50 pence. Um, that, that culture set had, uh, had a number of different coins in it, reissued coins, and Lady M and I have found one of them. We found one on a live stream, actually. The Britannia, so it had a Britannia there, but instead of um, instead of saying 50 pence, it said new pence around the, around the top because it was reissued. So it was from 1969 when the 50 pence first entered the in, in, entered into circulation in the UK. So they are there. They are worth uh, they are worth checking. You can find these not intended for circulation coins. Probably worth about a fiver. It wasn't a particular. It's not probably an expensive one that we found, but still a buzz, and I'm sure it'll go in value as time goes on. There is the second Paddington at the cathedral. And another dictionaries. 
and another one. So proving how common that is. A vintage of over 17 million. We found three and we're probably only halfway through. Give or take a bag or two. And there's another find. Victoria Cross, the Heroic Acts, 2006. This is another one that was reissued in 2019. This was in the military set. It was commemorating 50 years of the 50 pence. So do you find one of them, super common. Over 10 million of them in circulation. But if you do find one, have a look and check it out. You haven't got a not intended for circulation in your hands. Oops. Oh dear. Drop one on the floor as well. Well, it's just a Britannia. I can see that. I won't worry about that. Best libraries. Just came out in 2000. Mintage of over 11 million. And I like to say it's a little mini set. So it's a little... But not really related. Not officially anyway, but I like a little bit of a... Sorry, coins all, coins all over the place. Carnage, absolute coin carnage. I like to say that's a little bit of a mini set there. The, the libraries, dictionaries, books, wordy. There's another Paddington at the tower. Oh, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, 2016. A lot of people's favorite set, the 2016 Beatrix Potter set. I think it set a lot of people off collecting coins. She is pretty common, I'm afraid. 8.8 .8 million of her in circulation. But I like her. This is TW. But just 50 pence value, I'm afraid. Come on, where's all the big hitters? Where's all the Olympics and the Jemima Puddle Ducks and the Isaac Newton? There's another non Valuable coin, representation of the People Act from 2018. Nine million of them circulated and worth a grand old total of 50 pence. There is another Paddington at the Cathedral. Exactly the same mintage between that one and the, uh, the one at the Tower. This one is 2017 and it's got 50 pence written here, five zero pence. So this will be a commemorative coin and it is the tail of Peter Rabbit. So we've got a, uh, a half of the Beatrix Potter set from 2017, them two, them two coins there. Super high mintage, there's only one coin that's a higher mintage than that one and that is Benjamin Bunny, which I'm amazed we haven't found yet. But still plenty of time to find Benji. And another Paddington at St. Paul's Cathedral. This bag's been at the bank for, what, three, seven months or so. And it hasn't been hiding anything spectacular. Not yet, anyway. How many bags have we got left? One, two, three, four, five bags. Not including this one. So let's see whether it can turn on the flip of a coin. Ooh, there's, a, there's another find, Peter Rabbit, 2016. So you've got two of the 2016 set. One thing to look out for on here, uh, on these coins I've seen a couple of times, only once in real life, where you can get uh, what looks like an extra whisker here, across here, like a line there. And I think what causes it, and I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, what causes it is the, the dye that stamps the coin. If you get a crack in it, if it if it's deteriorates a little bit, then the, the crack kind of shows up. 
but it looks like it's got an extra whisker across there so it's worth worth looking out for not 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 valuable really but it's worth looking out for and you sometimes you get the on the on the obverse on the queen side looks like she's got uh, like spikes coming out of her head so like a couple here or a couple there like a crown's got an extra an extra little bit of uh jazz sticking out so it's worth having a look and you've got a peter rabbit coin plenty to wear matt nearly uh, nearly 10 million of these were circulated so the, uh, the chances are if you've got one it will just be normal but worth it worth a little look does the queen have spikes coming out of her head Ah, oh, the nice one one for the book 2013 got 50 pence written in writing on this side so this would be the battle of britain battle of britain benjamin britain there he is just over five million circulated over face value not much not much maybe he's a pound one pound fifty if you may be lucky but yeah that's uh not rare but certainly not uh, certainly not common relatively scarce i keep all the benjamin britons that i find i've been doing this a, a while now on uh, on youtube over over two years and i haven't, I haven't found that many and as next door's dog jasper joins the proceedings you can probably hear him uh, barking in the background we find another paddington at the tower oof jasper then the pain in the butt next door neighbor's dog has brought us a little bit of luck let's finish this bag off and talk about this so we've got an olympic get in only one bag left to go after this one so we've done there uh, it was a little it was a little bit of a bit of a damp squib i think but now we've got uh now we have got an olympic to show for it at 2011. what can it be what can it be it's going to go in the book whatever it is cracking start it's quite flat i've got a clue Oh, what a start. What a start that is. A triathlon. Get in, you absolute beauty. Thank you, Jasper. Thank you. Thank you, Jasper. The Jasper look. That is a top five Olympic. Worth what? 10 quid. I would have thought. Football's about 12, 13, 14 pound. I reckon this is the next one, so probably at least at least a tenner. It's not in bad condition. It's not great, not absolutely great, but it but it ain't bad. Get in, you absolute beauty. Who needs Lady Emma? The uh, the Olympic look is with us. Get in there. What a what a start. Bonus, absolute bonus. That is certainly going to be the plum find of the uh, of the hunt. No two ways about it. I can't say he's beaten a top five Olympic in this last bag, but you never know. Let's see what we've got. So you're going to have to let me know what you think of this uh, of this new series. So please don't um, don't worry about Lady M. She you, you won't get any less Lady M time than you used to. So yeah, if anybody wants to put uh, on there, yeah, it's fine. The path is no Lady M. Honestly, give us a break. Honestly, I know, I know. The, don't worry. The uh, she she will be back. Taylor Peter Rabbit there. Um, so do stick a like on the video if uh, if, you, if you like what you see. Really does uh, really does help the channel out. Any likes that you put on the uh, on our videos, and do consider subscribing as well, please. Go on there, hit that subscribe button and that even that bell icon so you can uh, you can be notified every time we uh, we upload a new video. And um, there'll be things in the description, the our Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and the email address and the PO box if you want to write to us uh, as well. So let me know in the comments how did I do for me be first one on there uh, on my own right let's review what we've got so how many is going to go in the book how many different uh, coins have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so 15 coins for the book absolutely fantastic um the plum is without a doubt triathlon this is the plum find the 
a top find for this hunt. Unquestionably, nothing else even comes close. But I will give an honourable mention to Benjamin Britain and to the Battle of Britain. See, they're just over. Well, they're sort of getting on for six million mint into the Battle of Britain, but it is one of my favourites. I say I'll keep every every one of them two that I find. If any of the others, if I did find, they would just go back into circulation. But obviously, we're keeping the ones that are going to go in the book. So I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to go wash my hands because me me. I've got Christopher collects fingers. And I'm going to go and uh, wash my hands, stick these in the book, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've picked the best condition to the ones that I got two of, and this is uh, this is exactly everything that we uh, that we found. So we've got libraries, dictionaries, Victoria Cross heroic acts. We got a 2008 Britannia. We got a 2010 Girl Guides. The Plum Finder of the Hunt. Triathlon, Benjamin Britain, Battle of Britain, Peter Rabbit, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, Tom Kitten, Representation of the People Act, and The Two Paddingtons from 2019. Can you believe we found, or I say, I keep saying we, there's only me this uh, this time. I have found more. No, we, we found it together. We found it, you, you and me. We found more triathlons then we have Benjamin Bunnies. What is the chances? And I'm pretty certain that will uh, that will not continue. Right, so we're all done. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.